Hey everybody, it's Coach Kelsey. We're going to be doing some, some videos here from the Anders Home Gym for our beginner kids and our four to six year olds. Uh, we're going to get started here with just a couple of things that the kids can do at home to get used to individual movements, just so that they get that muscle memory and they don't forget how to do jujitsu during our break here. So I'm on the ground. And the very first thing I'm going to do is just come up into a combat base. So I'm just rolling back, I'm coming up, and I've got one leg forward and the other knee back. I'm going to just switch sides here. Come up, one leg forward, other knee back. Okay, once I've got that down, um, we're going to work on just doing a, a little technical stand-up. Since a lot of people don't have puzzle mats at home or they don't have jujitsu mats, we're not going to do a, a back break fall because I don't want anybody get, to get hurt, so we're just gonna modify it a little bit. So that same movement I'm coming up, but now I'm going to bring my knee back, just like that. And I just come back down. Okay, so we're just working on getting that leg behind us just like we do our stand-up and base in class. And then the last thing that you can work on is your jiu-jitsu bridge. Okay, so remember when we do our bridge, we keep our shoulders on the ground, and then we're just lifting our hips up high. So to demonstrate that, so I'm trying to get my feet as close as I can, and then I'm just lifting my hips up. For those who have done this a lot, we can start working on making an angle. So I'm bringing my nose to the floor, I'm arching, bringing that elbow across, and I'm just switching sides. Just like that. That's gonna keep your body moving, and it'll make it a lot easier for you to do the other drills that we're gonna do in just a moment. Okay, so the next portion, we're just gonna do a little bit of some self-defense things that you can easily work on with your students at home. So the first thing and an important thing for all people to remember is grip strips. So number one, I grab the same side when I'm facing her, the same side, and she makes a fist and Put your elbow in. Yep. Making sure that you maintain a base at all times. So you want to be able to find your base. Yep. And elbow in. And making sure also not to what? Pull oh, back. Pull back. That's right. Show pulling back just so we can kind of see. Yep. See how her, her weight is leaning back, which leaves this front leg vulnerable for takedowns. So let's just go over finding the base real quickly. So you can even have the kids kind of jog, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll clap and then have the kids drop down into finding the base. And also a way to kind of make it a little bit more fun is you can do two things. You could do like snap and have them jump and then clap and have them find their base. So let's try it for just a second, mm -hmm. okay? Jog, 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 jog. Good. Jog, jog, jog. Good. Jog, 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 jog. jog. So back to the grip strip. So making sure that they have a little bit of a base when you're doing the grip strips. Again, I grab the wrist, she makes a fist, and brings her elbow towards my wrist. Good. Mm -hmm. Number two grip strip, I grab a cross. And then you go towards the pinky. Don't flip your hand over, because do snakes like flipping over? No, they don't. Mm -hmm. No. So I grab the wrist and slippery snake towards the pinky side. Last time, slippery snake towards the pinky side, keeping that bottom of the arm facing down. Last, uh, well, not the last one, actually, the third one, we're gonna grab two-handed grab on the wrist. She's gonna make a fist. But leave your elbow inside the cookie jar. Huh? Yep, reach inside the cookie jar. Leave an elbow. elbow. Good, and again, you notice that she's not pulling back and having her weight go too far back as she's pulling out. The last one now is the airplane escape. So this one can work with hands on the neck or hands on the shoulder. She reaches over, over under, up, grabs, flight. That's right. And see how she keeps facing me? She doesn't want to turn away. So one more time. Over, over under, grab, and flight. Good. And mm -hmm. one little tip on that one is yeah. that Keep it near the face, for sure, because if her hands get near my elbows too far away from her face, she's not going to have the leverage to be able to strip the grip. We'll try, we'll show. Over, under. See, I, I can keep my arm there, but if she goes near my hands by her face, I have the leverage. So, those are the grip strips, so one, two, three, and then also the airplane grip strip. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, 
So, crazy legs. Now we're gonna play a game. Uh, crazy leg drills. So we've done this in jujitsu class before. Uh, it's a simple game, but basically Ayla's going to use her legs to keep me from circling around and touching her head. So she's always got something on my hip, and as I circle, she's going to take one of her feet behind my knee so that she can follow me. So we're just going to start out real slow so that she gets comfortable with the movement, okay? So I start circling, and she takes the back leg and puts the foot behind my knee. Her knees are always facing out, and she keeps her hands by her face, okay? Once we get that side down, we're gonna switch. She's still got that foot on the hip, but now she switches her feet, and we circle. At any time, I can decide that I wanna go toward her, and she uses both of her feet on my hips and lifts her tush up to keep that distance so that I can't reach her, okay? So now that she's got it down, we'll play it like a game, okay? So I can randomly circle, okay? If she misses, She's not going to miss. I touch her head. And then, just to keep it fun, you can have the kids do the same thing to you, and you can try it on the ground. Yep. Uh, bear hug. Bear hug. Bear so, hug. bear hug from behind, another self-defense move. So, this is a nice one to be able to practice at home. So, um, parents, what you're going to do is you're going to grab behind, under their arms, and having your hands clasped like this. Make sure you're not clasping like this with your fingers intertwined. Your hands will be clasped in a, in a gable grip, just like that. Now, what the student will do, or what your child will do, is put their hands on top, so, 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 so down, put your hands on top of my hand, thumbs in, and she wants to kind of have her hips a little bit forward and have a nice base. Now, she's gonna bring up her leg. So first of all, the student's going to look down and look at the hands and see which hand is on top. Is it this hand or this hand, Ayla? This one, exactly. So that's the side that she's going to put the pressure on. She's going to lift up that leg and she's going to stomp and press down, cover her face and elbow. Good. If you don't feel safe having your kids elbow towards your face, that's fine. You can leave that part out, but um, with a nice cover and then an elbow. And another drill that the students can do is practice that, the cover elbow, cover elbow. And it's good to know how to do it on both sides. We'll do it one more time. A little faster. Yep, you can do it a little faster, sure. Okay, so which hand's on top? Good, good. And then you can switch it up. So you can, now you can practice other hand on top, and you could do it by surprise or just practice a few times so the student knows how to do it both ways. See, and, and it's a little bit more difficult. You see how she turned that way. So if she's going towards this side, she's stepping out, still covering, and elbowing with the near arm. So that's a good, good thing to practice. Perfect. All right, well, that concludes the video for today. We are going to be doing a live stream on Tuesday at 5.30. That's going to be a question and answer session for the kids and their parents. So if you can tune in at that time, it should be on our Facebook page. If you have questions ahead of time, feel free to send a message to myself or Professor Sarah, and we'll make sure that we try to address it during that hour. Uh, we plan to send out more videos as we go along, and we'll pick a couple of videos for the intermediate and advanced students that we already have recorded that's on our YouTube channel. But at any time, they can go ahead and take a look at that YouTube channel and start working things from that page. Thank you so much for your support, and hope to talk to you soon. And then during the clip, kids ones, I'll be in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye -bye.